Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Mike of the Two and a Half Street, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. So, previously, we have added gravity so you can jump, we have added friction so you can do fun ice physics or something like that. But this game still isn't that exciting, so today, we're going to be getting to what everybody absolutely wants to, and I think I said the same thing about gravity, but enemies, and dying, and stuff like that. So, I've gone and made this red sprite here, and it's very creatively called Red. Um, it's the same size as the rest of them, it's a red square, it's got the origin in the middle. And okay, so now I'm going to be making this object called, um, enemy. Yeah, I spelled that right. And I'm going to be assigning it the red sprite. And I'm going to be, uh, let's just go and put one of these in the room because I know I'll forget one of that. I'll, I know I'll forget to do that if I, uh, don't. And now we're going to make the player interact with it. So, this is going to be similar to interacting with walls, so you have the, uh, the place meeting the position and the wall and I am going to be uh, actually copying and pasting this line and I think I'll be putting it let's put it right under friction but below a uh, vertical movement and uh, let's see we'll do that and we'll be renaming this the object is going to be enemy and we don't want y plus one we just want y if you hit an enemy you're going to die that sounded very violent but we're going to say uh, show message you died and I should have a capital Y there but I don't care and we're gonna restart the game you would not believe how many tries it took me to spell restart properly anyway uh, let's do this we have the enemy in the room I believe and uh, let's see we're gonna be doing this let's run into the enemy I died perfect and the game has restarted so that's not very complicated it's pretty much a uh, basic checking to see if an object is there uh, Game Maker also does, I think I should mention this, but it has this built in. And it works more or less the same way, except it happens after all this happens. So, you probably want to, like, not use this so that you can put it directly, uh, collision code directly in the step event, like, between other things that happen. So that's just something to keep in mind. Or you might not, or you might just want to, uh, keep it simple and use the collision events. But, it's not too exciting. I'm going to be adding HP here. So I talked about HP sort of kind of a little in, um, in an RPG mechanics video that I did a little while ago. I'll put an annotation to that and a, uh, a link in the video description for those who want to see that. But let's see, let's just, let's just send HP to an arbitrary number like 10. So HP equals um, yeah, 10. No, 10, yeah. That any useless uh, syntax error causing symbols on the screen there because I can type. And here, uh, where is the thing? Here it is. Instead of saying uh, right off the bat you died, we're going to say um, HP minus equals 5, and you're going to bounce back a little. So we're going to just reflect the horizontal speed. So if uh, <clears throat> we're just going to multiply it by negative 1, so it'll be. You'll bounce backward at the same speed that you came in at. So, here, you're only going to be saying you died if your HP is 0, or less than 0. So we're going to be saying if, if uh, HP is less than or equal to 0, then do all this. I didn't mean to hit the backspace key, I meant to hit the tab key. Alright. So, uh, let's see, we're going to run into you, we're going to bounce back. Alright. And I hit it the second time, and I died, and the game restarted. So... That's just, this is a starter. Uh, this really, once again, isn't that complicated. Uh, I will be going over how to, uh, various methods of killing enemies later. So, uh, for now, I hope you all enjoy that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I've uploaded. I will be putting up multiple of these, uh, Game Maker videos, hopefully, every week. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see me deal with, let me know, and I'll do it. And I will see you later.